Use your eyes. signals. It's locked. Hang on, I've got a bypass shunt program that can crack it. How long will it take? I don't know, Shepard. I've never broken into the Shadow Broker's base before. Well, not this one anyway. You sure that shunt is working? It's illegal, even on Ilium. It didn't come with a warranty. But you tested it, right? Here come more of them. Tell me you tested it. No time to go. <clears throat> Watch for biotics. <sighs> yeah! My target's down. Longer. Remember the old days when you could just slap Omni Gel on everything? That security upgrade made a lot of people unhappy. Look out, more on the way.
Excellent advice. But now there'll be fewer left to deal with inside. Yeah. Keep dreaming, Sony. <clears throat> On the floor.
downloaded the ship's layout. We're headed toward the prison block. And Farron... Flashbangs! Hold on. We're getting you out of here. No. Ah! Farron. What the hell is the broker trying to do to you? The equipment is sensitive to tampering. This chair plugs into the broker's info network. You have to shut off the power. Pull me out now and my brain cooks. Do you know where we can cut the power? It won't be easy. You'll have to go to Central Operations. What's the point of this cage? I don't... It's a neural grounding rod. The medical equipment is to make sure he doesn't... expire. We have to shut this place down! Where did the broker get the mercs? Raised his own private force. They're completely loyal. Shepard, we really don't have the time. Easy or not, we're all getting out of here. Good. Central Operations is down the hall. You know the Shadow Broker's waiting for you, right? I'm counting on it. We'll be back for you, Farron. I'll try not to go anywhere. I want all teams to outpost C. Get an LOS. Paint the marks. Shield your eyes! Enemies! <clears throat> <clears throat>
That bombing on Ilium wasn't exactly subtle. Extreme, but necessary. No, it wasn't. Neither was caging Ferrin for two years. Dr. Tassoni, your interference caused all this. Ferrin betrayed me when he handed you Shepard's body. The Drell is simply paying the price. Someone was bound to come after you for working with the Collectors. It was a mutually beneficial partnership. Your arrival is convenient. The Collector's offer still stands. Be smart. Let Baron walk out with us. You won't be walking out at all. You're quite confident for someone with nowhere left to hide. You travel with fascinating companions, Doctor. At least you brought me both Shepard and Ms. Lawson to Sony. Their deaths will cripple Cerberus. You're not putting a hand on anyone. It's pointless to challenge me, Asari. I know your every secret, while you fumble in the dark. Is that right? You're a Yogg. A pre-space flight species quarantined to their homeworld from massacring the Council's first contact teams. This base is older than your planet's discovery. Which probably means you killed the original Shadow Broker 60 years ago, then took over. I'm guessing you were taken from your world by a trophy hunter who wanted a slave. Or a pet. How am I doing? Shields kinetically sensitive. Energy and projectiles are bouncing off. Then we do this the hard way. Hit him now!
to bring up that shield again. I've got an idea. Watch out. Resume standard procedures. I want a status report on all operations within the next summer day. Shadow Broker, out. Goddess of Oceans, it's you. You... how? Well, everyone who's ever seen him in person is dead, so... You're the new Shadow Broker. Is taking over as the Shadow Broker really a good idea? It was either that or lose everything. His contacts, his trading sources, those will really help us. With the Shadow Broker's information network, I can... I can give you... I can... I'll check the power systems. I spent 
Two years mourning you and Farron. And now I've got you both back. I... Let's see what we've got. No safeguards or user restrictions. It's like he never anticipated anyone but himself being here. And it's all ours. What kind of information are we talking about? I'm not sure. I'll need to go through his files. Come back later and I'll try to have something useful for you. All I wanted was to rescue Farron, but is it wrong that part of me wants this? With the Shadow Brokers network, I can help you. Maybe I can turn this operation into something better. Don't be a stranger this time. Come by when you have a chance. The doors are always open. Shadow Broker. What's this? That's the old broker's VI assistant. It's actually been helpful with rebuilding the network. Please let me know if I can organize anything else for you, Shadow Broker. It also thinks anyone in the room is the broker. I'll play around with the settings later. My manual is ready whenever you have a moment. Turian council member's mistress has made some unusual purchases lately. She may be expecting to move to a larger mansion. How are you doing, Liara? I'm a bit overwhelmed, to be honest. The Shadow Broker had more resources than you can imagine. Here, come on over. He had top-level access to the Turian and Asari governments. 
And more than one Solarian Dalatros traded intel. And now it's ours. You're not gonna turn into a recluse with creepy information on everyone in the galaxy, are you? I can understand the temptation. I've got all the secrets of the galaxy at my fingertips. Give me ten minutes and I could start a war. But I've got a purpose. Helping you stop the Reapers. That will keep me honest. You know, relatively speaking. Have you found anything useful yet? The Shadow Broker knew about the Reapers. Perhaps that's why he offered to help prove Saren's guilt to the Council. He didn't want Saren to succeed. He knew you weren't lying about your visions of the Prothean Beacon. There's even some data on the Protheans. I think he knew what was coming and was looking for a way to survive. Why was he still looking at Protheans? They gave us the warning in the conduit at Ilos, but we've used those. The Shadow Broker seemed to think there was more out there. Perhaps the Protheans had other plans. Or maybe he was just grasping at anything that offered some hope. How'd you know what the Shadow Broker was? I didn't. I had no idea what to expect when we finally found him. But I researched pre-space flight cultures during some of my Prothean studies. I know a bit about the Yogg. There's more on the terminals if you want to look. They're a fascinating culture, and a terrifying one. How's Farron doing? As well as you'd expect, after two years of intermittent torture. He gonna be okay? I don't know. He wants to work, so I'm letting him help. Maybe it takes his mind off it. So... you and Farron? No. He's been through a traumatic ordeal. He's emotionally fragile and needs to heal. He's very grateful to me for saving him. But it would be irresponsible of me to take advantage of that. It was good talking with you, Liara. Let me know if you need anything. I think what I need right now... is a friend. I can't leave for too long, but spending all my time on this ship... Maybe next time you come by, I could come up to the Normandy. That sounds great. Why don't you come up now? Okay, thanks. I'll be right there. Just give me a minute. Did you enjoy the tour? Yes. It's a beautiful ship. And I ran into Joker. He seemed happy to see me. Although, he did ask if I'd embraced eternity lately. Of course he did. I also spoke with Dr. Chalkwas. I'm glad she's doing well. I brought you something. It took some digging, but I recovered your tags. I'd never see these again. They changed hands more than once. Do you remember Admiral Hackett? He gave them to me so I could return them to you. He sends his best and hopes you're okay. So how are you doing, Shepard? I mean, really. Not what you tell your squad to keep morale up. Between you and me? I have no idea how we're going to do this. I'm doing everything I can, but... You've done more than most. There wouldn't be a man, woman, or child left on Horizon, if not for you. I saved some of them. Not enough. And the Collectors will keep hitting colonies until I stop them. So you'll stop them. And here I thought it'd be difficult. You'll get the job done. You always do. I just don't know what comes next. So tell me what you want. What are you fighting for? I guess I'm fighting for us. All of us. That's a lot of responsibility. People are messy. 
awkward, sometimes selfish or cruel. But they're trying, and I'm gonna make sure they have a chance. I hope the galaxy proves itself worthy of the effort you're putting into saving it. I should get back to my base, but thanks for inviting me up, Shepard. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Commander, I think you'll want to talk to Garrix. I haven't had a meal that good in a long time. I didn't think Rupert had it in him. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I've got something. I may need your help. You remember Sidonis, the one who betrayed my team? I found a lead on him. There's a specialist on the Citadel. Name's Fade. He's an expert at helping people disappear. Sidonis was seen with him. What happened? How did Sidonis betray your team? He tipped off the mercs, told them where our base was. He drew me out with a false job, then let the mercs hit my team. My men weren't prepared. They tried to hold them off. By the time I got back, there were only two survivors. They didn't last long. All ten of them dead. Because of him. What are you planning to do when you find him? You humans have a saying, an eye for an eye, a life for a life. He owes me ten lives, and I plan to collect. 
You sure that's how you want to play it? I'm sure. I don't need you to agree with me, but I'd like your help. Where do we find Fade? I've arranged a meeting. We'll meet him in a warehouse near the Neon Markets down on Zakara Ward. Thanks, Shepard. I appreciate you taking the time to help me. I'm glad you came. I must ask for your help. That is not easy for me. It's all right. Just tell me what you need. When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. Didn't you say you'd pick up her trail after our mission? I know where she is, right now. In a month, she may be gone. This is the best opportunity I've ever had. Where is she? Omega. A nightclub called Afterlife, which seems a perfect place for her to hunt. How important is this? Killing her has been my focus for 400 years. It is the most important thing in my life, and the reason I became a Justicar. Tell me about her. She is an Ardot Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds, but that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. So is an Ardot Yakshi a special kind of murderer? Morin suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain, you end up a mindless shell, and soon after, you are dead. Why isn't this ever mentioned in Asari literature or art? When we were primitive, there was much fascination with Ardot Yakshi. Some cultures worshipped them as gods of destruction. Now the Asari have a place in the galaxy, and they don't wish this defect to be widely known. As far as I know, only three exist today. Two chose a life of seclusion. The third ran. Morinth. She ran, and I am sworn to kill her. I don't know that I blame her for running. When she fled, she proved her addiction. She was not taking a great moral stand. She simply wants to keep killing. She is a tragic figure, but not a sympathetic one. Can't she abstain? Each encounter gives her strength. The effect is narcotic. The more she does it, the more she needs to do it. She will never stop. She can't. So you hunt down these Asari just because they're born with a genetic condition? It manifests with maturity. When one is diagnosed, she is offered the chance to live in seclusion and comfort. If she refuses, it shows her addiction to the ecstasy she gets from killing her mates. There is no redemption for such a person. They have to choose between prison and death. It is an addictive condition. Remember how adaptive we are. If Morinth does not want to be cured, she won't be. This is definitely worthy of your full attention. She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. There is one thing more. This creature, this... monster. She is my daughter. 
You said this is genetic. How many children do you have? Three. And three are not Yustin's today. It is as it sounds. Marinth was always the wild one. She was happy and free, but selfish. I cannot imagine what this is like for you. I do not want pity, Shepard. I do not accept it. My daughter's condition is my fault, and my redemption lies in killing her. Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. How did all this happen? I spent my youth on the move, adventuring. I killed people, mated with them, or just danced the night away. I learned so much, experienced so much, and then my matron days came. I could finally sit back, bask, and enjoy my family. But in one moment, it was all taken away. We need to get on with our mission. I understand. Nonetheless, if there is time, I would like to go to the Afterlife nightclub on Omega. Help me find my long-lost daughter. And kill her. We'll go find Morinth. No messages for you, Commander. 